So here's another way of creating a mathematical equation in Word or PowerPoint or um, online or in lots of different places. Now this is the most powerful way um, and it involves a, um, a much more challenging, I guess, uh, equation editor to work with and that is a, a tool called Latex which is a, a coding option and uh, there's lots of ways you can make that happen. Uh, the easiest way I think you can um, create this uh, coding environment is uh, by doing an online editor and uh, here's an example of an online editor that that uh, um, I recommend. Uh, if you click on homeschool math it'll bring up uh, or type that address in. It'll bring up uh, uh, some instructions and so on. Um, and uh, down here it says launch the editor. And so as soon as you do that it'll bring up a menu like this. And uh, right away you might notice um, that this looks different. There is uh, some strange code. There's slash fraction and all this sort of stuff. Um, that is a code that um, many people, um, professors, math professors, uh, people who type math for a living, um, know how to do. They they just write it that way. Uh, they've memorized things. Uh, if you've memorized those things, you you can do that. But one nice thing about this editor is that you don't need to know that uh, those special things like backwards slash frac for a fraction, uh, because you can find those sorts of things in a template, and it'll put the right code in there, you just need to figure out where do I put what sort of stuff. Uh, one thing about this editor is it, it tells you, uh, or it shows you what it's going to look like. So this is uh, what this is going to produce uh, if we were done. And uh, I can play around with uh, this and realize Oh, okay, so this is changing the exponent on top. And so um, if I get rid of this stuff entirely why don't we start from scratch? Let's create a fraction. And uh, as soon as it says that, there's two spaces here, two uh, uh, curly braces, and inside here, um, I'm guessing this is the stuff that's going to go on top. Ah, yes. And uh, this would be the stuff that goes on bottom. All right. So um, after playing around with it a little bit, you can figure out what sort of stuff goes in where. Uh, you can nest things inside of things, so I could put a fraction inside of a fraction. Um, if uh, I go fraction, um, what was it, this very first one? So now I've got a fraction inside of a fraction. And you can see uh, it correctly sizes those things and so on. And um, For our project, we're going to be working with radicals, and so the radical template is Hmm. Where's the radical template? Ah, here we go. So in that same section where all the fractions and so forth too, down here there was a square root. So now if you just remember slash sqrt, which is a pretty normal abbreviation for square root, um, then uh, you don't have to find it in that template anymore. You can just uh, start typing. So x, I think it was exponent. Yep, exponent 2 uh, will create squareds, um, and if I needed to add to this a square root, I'm just going to type in the slash sqrt in the curly brace, and uh, it automatically did that for me. So uh, 3x um, equals, I'm guessing, is an equal sign. Um, yep, that all works. If it if it wasn't, uh, or if I'm doing something strange like a greater than or equal to, um, I can look and see greater than or equal to apparently was a code slash GEQ which I'm guessing stands for greater than or equal to um, 7 so anyhow now I, I've got my equation uh, the way I want and so uh, how do I do something with this um, you could download this and then it's a picture that you could import into anything um, PowerPoint, Word, um, Pages, etc a lot of times you can drag this into a program. For some reason I've been having trouble dragging it into Microsoft Word, but I do know that it works into Pages. I've done that before. Um, you can also right click on it and uh, a handful of options show up. Um, copying the image works for me. Then I can go into Word and paste uh, maybe by hitting Control V or something like that and it shows up. 
So, and it's a, it's a true picture. Uh, it works just like a picture. You can re you can move things, drag things, wrap things um, around it. Uh, you can rotate it uh, and so forth, just like you would any other picture. So that's a kind of a downside too, because I can't just click on it and start to edit it um, like I could with Equation Editor. So why bother uh, with this um, more challenging tool? Um, one reason I might suggest bothering with it is you might not have any other option. Maybe you don't have an equation editor in Word or um, something like that built in. Uh, this is something you can do online. Um, another reason I might suggest it, I, do, I have a math blog and my blog uh, uses Blogger and there isn't an equation editor for that. Uh, so I have to create pictures and this is a tool that allows me to create pictures. Um, another reason you might want to learn this uh, is because it is um, universal. Latex is a, a tool that anybody who publishes math uh, for a living, um, that's probably what they're going to use. Uh, and so starting to learn that uh, and using those, um, those tools and those commands is, uh, um, you know, potentially um, training on the job. Um, Personally, I use this um, because it allows me to have colors. I, I can accent certain parts of it. Maybe in this equation, I really want to emphasize the fact that uh, it is greater than or equal to as opposed to equals. Um, and I might choose to do that with a color. So um, I can make it uh, show up as red. And so just that portion of the equation is red now. That's something that... Um, the other options I told you about don't, uh, um, well, they don't allow, frankly. You'd have to have the entire equation be read if you want. And so um, that's uh, a little bit more um, tools. Uh, this has uh, just about every math tool I have ever seen um, hidden in it somewhere, um, even more than uh, the other options that I suggested, math type or equation editor or um, words built in equation. Um, so those are some reasons why I might suggest using this. Um, obviously, it is the more challenging of them because you have to kind of work a little bit with code. Um, but uh, as Spider-Man says, with great power comes great responsibility, right? So um, that's there. This particular one, um, I've used undo many times when I realize, oops, I, I've made a mistake. Um, and uh, if there's something I might want to come back to, like uh, if I've got a really big equation and I might need to um, edit, it, uh, edit it later, um, something I might suggest that you do is uh, instead of just copying uh, and pasting the picture into my document, I might actually copy and paste this code and... Uh, keep it somewhere nearby in, in case I need uh, to edit it later. I can quickly cut and paste that back into my editor. Um, so if you've got a really big equation with a lot of things and you're not sure if it's 100% right, that might be a, uh, an option that'll save you a little bit of time and headache later on. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you uh, need help with that, feel free to ask me some questions or send me an email. So talk to you later. Bye.